Hi, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to use the new limited edition John Nextdoor Mandala set to make a simple and basic card. We're going to be using just the Mandala die from this, but in the collection you have the Mandala die, you have the Mandala corners, and you have the matching stamp. So, what I'm going to use is simply a six by six white card blank, so just a standard card blank. I've got a piece of backing paper. This is one I've actually made using the iZinc spray inks and shaving foam, but you could use any piece of backing paper from your stock. And I've got a little sentiment that's just been put onto a little bit of the same backing paper, edged in white, and it has the sentiment from the set on, which is could any day be nicer than a birthday. So all we're going to do is we're going to use just the detail cutting dies from the die set. So the Mandala set has the detail dies and then it has separate outside lines which give a lot more flexibility. If you want to see how these are used, check out one of the later videos. But we're going to use just the detail, the inside detail and the centrepiece as well. So just those three together. We'll pull those ones off. OK, we'll pop that to one side. So what we want to do is open up the card blank and we want to cut the detail dies into this card so you're giving an aperture through. Now, if we use all three together, there's a lot of detail in here and a lot of individual cuts. So we're asking an awful lot of things to cut at once. So the best way to do this is to cut them in series. So I'm going to stick on the first one and this is central to the card. You can measure if you want to or you can just eyeball it to give you a central feel. So I'm going to pop that one in and we're going to put that through, run that through and cut that piece. So once that's cut, this is what we get. We've taken out all of the pieces from there. So you can see through, we get that beautiful aperture and it's giving us the pattern and the shape without the shape actually being cut out. So what we next do is to take the next die in the set and we match up these points. And the easiest way to do this is to match them at the top and bottom and the two sides to get it nice and even. We're going to tape that down and we're going to cut that. So we'll run that through the machine and cut that. And that will give us this piece here. So you can see here now we've got the first layer of pattern. We've got the second layer of pattern. Just going to clean that card up a little bit using a glue eraser. It's always important when you've run a card through a couple of times just to make sure your plates are clean and that you give it a rub over with an eraser to take off any extra little bits of fluff or anything. So all we need to do now is line up the final piece. And we do that because there's a little cross in the center here, which shows us exactly where to line that up. Again, against the top and the sides. And we tape that down and we cut that. So when we've cut that final piece, what we'll then find is we've got all of the detail, just like this one, cut through into the center. And again, just going to give that a little bit of a clean up. But of course, when we close the card, it's very white on white. So this is where the backing paper comes in. And what I'm going to do is place the backing paper on the inside back of the card. And what that does is adds a little bit of depth and dimension, but also makes the card look nice and detailed inside. So it's clean on the inside as well as on the outside. And by doing that, we also clean off any lines that you would see on the back. So I'm just going to pop that into place just like that. And then when we close the card, you see the beautiful pattern through, but you don't lose all that beautiful work because it's still there inside. And again, you could still write on this or write on the back of the card. And all I've done with the sentiment is add a little bit of foam tape to the back. And then I can choose where to place that. So I'm going to place that just on there. There we go. And there we've got our finished card with our sentiment. So the pattern and the colour on the front is echoed through the aperture. And when we open the card, we've got that beautiful pattern inside. A really simple and easy quick card that takes less than 15 minutes to make from start to finish. Just using the Mandala set. Enjoy. Enjoy.